Okay, the network setup is a little trickier than the rest, but this is important, as it will allow you to monitor your Uniden Guardian video security system from a laptop, tablet, or mobile device. To do this, you may need to do a process called port forwarding. A good way to imagine what a port is, is to think of them as a home street address, with each room in your home having an extended address. For example, if the address to your house is 123 Main Street, then the port to your garage might be 123 Main Street Garage. In network terms, you have an IP address to your DVR, which can be found in the network screen, and the port is the HTTP port number. So the address to your DVR on your network might be, for example, 192.168.1.100.8091. In the network screen, there are several settings which you will need for a setup in your home or office network. HTTP or internet port is 8091. Server port is 5000. Mobile port is 5001. In your home or office router, you'll need to log in as the administrator. See your router's manufacturer's user manual for more information. Common router types might be a Linksys, D-Link, Cisco, or it might be the main router provided by your cable company. You will need to do two steps to enable connection between your DVR and your router. Reserve an IP address. Whatever IP address the DVR has on the network screen should be reserved in your router. Usually, this is done in advanced settings. See your user manual for more info. Forward the following ports under Port Forwarding. This is also usually done under Advanced Settings. Port 8091, Port 554, Port 37777, 37778. If you're still having issues and need to understand more about Port Forwarding, we recommend the website www.portforward.com for more information.